Welcome back to your Weasel News. This is a big report that we got here today from our lucky cameraman Moore and Carmela Smooth finding this event that went down today. That's right, DJ. Uh, in this scenario, Weasel News found out today that two heavily armed assailants attempted to assassinate Governor McDonald but were unsuccessful. State and federal law enforcement teams worked together to apprehend the individuals who have since then confessed to the assassination attempt. A private trial for the two is being held in the coming days. Furthermore, the director of the FIB, Peter Brimbrook, had this to say. The new counterterrorism task force, in partnership with the San Andreas State Troopers, intercepted an attempted assassination on Governor McDonald today. Two individuals have been arrested in connection to this case. More will be made available at a press conference in the near future. There are definitely some interesting, interesting things going on, but let's take a look at some of the footage we got from today's story. More? Here we see, looks like the suspect is being apprehended right now. I guess there was some form of assassination attempt. We're looking to get more details. Uh, a government official is the one who was being targeted. That's all we know at this time. What you're seeing right now is a, the individual being taken away in custody by the FIB. Director Peter Pember. But are we Sorry to bother you. Is there any uh, any word on I that? I can give you a uh, short statement. Please, thank you. Uh, we provided um, assistance to the FIB on the bust of a attempted assassinate. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all I can give. Uh, the basics are someone was contracted to kill a government official. We intercepted this contract and stopped them from assassinating the government official. They are arrested on site with a weapon and they've been taken into federal custody. Uh, I have heard from federal agents in charge of the case that the man has confessed that he was there to assassinate the uh, governor. Okay, so it was uh, this time we can't tell his, his name, but we're working with the attorney general for recommended charges. Excellent. Okay. And uh, there was there's no details on how this was coordinated. They just were happened to be there. Where how like there's no how how would how did the information become available or revealed? Uh, because it's an ongoing investigation, I can't reveal that as it could put agents in the field at jeopardy. Understood. Understood. That's fair. Um, uh, hopefully, after the case is done, we can do a follow up a statement potentially. I believe there will be a trial or a hearing on Friday. I don't know whether the judge is going to make it open to the public or not because again. You know, it, it could reveal certain intelligence that we don't want revealed. Okay, that's just fair. Yet. Obviously, uh, we believe in transparency and, you know, being held accountable. But for now, it needs to stay pretty quiet about who's involved. We'll, we'll this was the uh, first major arrest of our newest task force, which is the uh, CTTF, or Counterterrorism Task Force. Oh, nice. That's a good tip, tidbit. Working closely with the special agent in charge of the Drug Observation Task Force. Drug Observation Task Force? DOTF, okay. Is there a drug? Okay, this is good. So, two, two departments of the FIB were involved. One of them was rather, relatively a new, a newly founded group, um, and this was their first major uh, uh, case, if you will. Um, all right, I think I have some good details. All righty, well, that was some shocking shocking news, to say the least. Uh, we at Weasel News share you your intrigue and aim to provide you the most up-to-date coverage as possible. We will be attending the aforementioned the press conference to report out any and all details we are able to obtain. Stay tuned for more. I'm DJ James, and this is Carmelo Smooth so right there. I'll go ahead and say your stuff, Carmelo. I'm Carmela Smooth, and that's all for now. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you for uh, tuning in with Weasel News, and we're out.